makeup look it was a red eye um, matte look but with the shimmering inner highlight and a nude lip it's very similar to what I did for Raya this year and I was just craving for something red on my eyes today since I'm going out after this so I hope you enjoy uh, I'll be a voiceover thing because the last time I'm gonna try something new so yeah let me know what you guys want me to do next Okay, to start, I've already done my brows and I've already put on primer on my face, so let's start with the eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay uh, Eyeshadow Priming Potion in Original. So I just dot this on my eye and blend it out with my ring finger. Next, I'm taking my Tyler in Bloom palette and using the color Charmer, which is this white shell color, and putting it all over my eyelids. And also, I bring it all the way up onto my brow bone. So the first color that I put on my eyes is a transition shade which is from the same palette my Tyler in Bloom in the color Smarty Pants. So I use this fluffy blending brush and I dip it in the color and I just put it on my crease. And I'm using this brush from Brush & Co. So all the gold, rose gold one that you see on this video is all from uh, Brush & Co. I just use the like wiper motion so you just go back and forth until you are satisfied with how it turns out. Next I take the darker color in Rebel and deposit it mostly at the outer corner and then I use the same brush and uh, I just blend it on my outer corner and then bring the rest into my crease. And then you just blend 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 and blend. Dipping back into Charmer and just putting it on my brow bone again. And then the star of the show, I use my Yes Please palette from Colourpop in the colour Spoiled. What I do is I take a flat uh, eyeshadow brush and just pack it all over my eyelid and I take another fluffy brush, uh, this is from Real Technique, and I'll just buff it out. Key here is to just start slow, start small, and then blend, and then keep on adding as you go. And once you uh, buff it out, so you might lose some of the color, but it's okay. You can just go back in, put more red, and then buff it out again until you are happy with how it looks like. I think I did about like four times. I put the red eyeshadow on my four times until I was satisfied. <laughs> but you know, take your time. Nobody's rushing you. So next up is concealer. I use the Maybelline Fit Me uh, concealer in the shade medium. And I just dot it everywhere under my eyes, my nose, my chin, my foot, everywhere basically. I don't, I don't use foundation so this is my face base. So I use a buffing brush to blend out my concealer. And don't forget to blend it down to your jaw as well and your hairline. So make sure you blend it all properly, no streaks, nothing. Of course, one concealer is not enough. I use the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer and just under my eyes just to brighten it up a bit. Again, the same motion, I just buff it in and then I also stipple it in after I'm like 
you know, satisfied with my buffingness of it. Next up is baking. So I just take my Innisfree no sebum powder, uh, tap it on the thing and then put it on my eyes. Yep, and then you look like a ghost. Put the powder under my eyes, on my chin and also some on my forehead. So I usually leave that on while I do the rest of my face. I'm using my Proto Glow palette from Tarte and using a dual fiber brush from uh, Real Techniques and just bronzing up my face using the color chisel from the palette. And then I darken it up with my NYX palette using that color and putting it in the hollows of my cheek and whatever I have left, I just put it around my face. Basically the outside perimeter of my face. And then I brush off all the powder and make sure that you brush out everything because the thing with baking is when you take pictures with a flash, there is a flashback and it is not cute. I've had that once, never again. So as you can see here, I'm like, you know, making sure I get it all off and whatever's remaining on my brush, I put it on the other parts of my face. I finish my eye makeup with um, completing the look with my under eye. So so for the red one, I use a smaller flat shadow brush and I didn't dip it back into the palette. I just use whatever is left on the brush and run it below my eyes. I'm using this one for the inner corner of my eyes. Uh, this is from Colourpop and it's called Glazed and I also put it on my eyebrows. Next, I curl my lashes and put mascara. This is my favorite mascara. This is from Essence. I get it from Watson's and it's literally like 15 ringgit and it's the best shit ever. I love this. This is my holy grail item for mascara. Don't forget your lower lashes. So the highlight on my face is the same one. This is Colourpop. I use a small fluff brush from Colourpop as well and put it on my face. Put it on my cupid's bow, my nose, the tip of my nose and also my nose bridge. Blush time. So I'm using this like apricot-ish colour from NYX. It's a blush palette and just go ham with the blush. I love me some blush. Love. Sometimes it looks a bit crazy, so I take the same powder brush and just run it through my face again. Last step is my lips. So I'm using Dida Soft Matte uh, Lipstick in the color Saint. It's just a very soft pink, almost as the same as my natural lip color. And this is the last step. I'm using another holy grail of mine, which is the Urban Decay's D Slick Setting Spray. And that's it. Did my hair and also put on some earrings and we're done i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um everything all all the products and you know i'm gonna put it in the description at the top it's like an arrow that you can press and then you will see all the products that i've used so yeah um if you have anything else any suggestions on whatever you want me to do let me know in the comments down below yeah i think i'm getting the hang of this <laughs> see you guys next time